Well, everything around us looks extremely grim right now. The number of coronavirus cases is rising. The death toll is increasing every day. This global lockdown feels never ending. What could be worse? I wouldn't tempt fate. I'd much rather look at the brighter side of things. They say every dark cloud has a silver lining, and this one is no exception. The coronavirus may have brought our lives to a standstill, but it has given a much-needed momentum to nature. While we stay indoors, nature is reclaiming its space. It's a theme we touched upon two weeks ago. We showed you videos from across the world of geese, of otters, soireeing in empty open spaces. We told you the story of a penguin couple's day out at a Chicago aquarium. And so many of you appreciated our story. Thank you for that. You sent us lovely feedback. Yes, there were magazines screaming fake news. Our message was simple. We wanted to talk about coexistence and cohabitation. And we're glad that you received it well. Tonight, I want to take this message forward. A lot has happened in the last two weeks. India has entered a lockdown, and guess what? Nature has unlocked its healing touch here too. The skies are clear, the water is clean, and for a change, Indians are breathing clean air. As we speak, New Delhi has entered its third straight week of clean air. A couple of days ago, residents of Jalandhar in Punjab woke up to the sight of the majestic Himalayas. These ice-capped mountains resurfaced on the town's horizon after 30 long years, courtesy the drop in air pollution. You could see those caps. And now we have for you photos of the river Yamuna. This river flows through India's national capital region, but the residents are having a very hard time believing their eyes because for the last couple of decades, they, they've been used to the sight of a sewage-like Yamuna. The river had become a dumping ground for industrial waste. Factories have been closed for two weeks. And look how the Yamuna has recovered. This is the story across India. Nature is healing itself. It's reclaiming its spaces one city at a time. A Neil guy was spotted on the streets of Noida outside a mall. On a regular day, this area would be filled with honking cars. With all the humans locked indoors, the animals could finally take a stroll outside. A bunch of sambar deer was spotted in Chandigarh. In Bihar, a leopard made the Beta Air Force Station its new home. In cities across India, birds have returned to balconies and terraces. Peacocks and sparrows, they've made their way back. And all this is thanks to just two weeks of human inactivity on this planet. When the headlines and rising death toll oppress you too much, look outside the window, look at the night sky studded with stars, listen to the chirping birds, breathe in the clean air. This is the coronavirus silver lining. It's a forced detox for planet Earth. It has been imposed on us. We can only hope that we adopt this principle of coexistence that we come out of the lockdown as more responsible human beings. We learn to coexist. Think about it.